Hello and welcome to a very special edition of the Cherry Vlog today. We're going to have a look at Whole Foods, the new shop. It's just opened today. We're going to try samples, cheeses, things, and see how expensive it was. It like what's in there. Let's find out. So welcome to Whole Foods in Scotland in Giffnock. So there was lots of fruit and veg here that we really should have shown you, but we never got round to it. Fantastic, interesting variety of fruits and lots of chilli, which could make for an interesting chilli competition. But anyway, moving on, I didn't want to do this on my own, so I got my friend and actor Tony to help me show round, as he seemed to know about a lot about food and beer, eh, much in the same way I do, but it's good to have someone else involved. So here we are having a look at peanut butter. Hello, hello. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. peanut butter from peanut butter dispensers. We've got all these dispensers. So, I've got I feel actual like I'm, peanut I feel like butter dispensers. It's a Willy Wonka. <laughs> it's a kind of Willy Wonka experience, isn't it? It's like Willy Wonka's dad's house. <laughs> <laughs> Not just puddings, proper dinners. Proper dinners, ales, and everything. Oh. Yeah, I just, Willy Wonka's dad's house. That, that's, that's how we can define it. <laughs> yes, yeah, so let's. So they have. What do they have? They've got. They've got a, 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 a cashew butter dispenser. An almond butter dispenser and a peanut butter dispenser. Right, we, ha we have to see your reaction to this. Hello. Hi guys. So, try and have a wee shot of your peanut butter. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's great. Thank you. Cheers. Uh, Thank you. You're welcome. So, let's see. Okay, uh, texture. Firm yet yielding. <laughs> Aroma. Peanutty, as you would mm -hmm. expect from peanut butter. Peanutty? Tastes like peanuts, yeah. Tastes like peanuts. What's it smell like? Coffee. Yeah. Coffee! <laughs> <laughs> but you've, you've got um, sharp roast, you get mellow ones, you get... Oh, nice smooth ones. Oh, punch you right in the back of the throat ones. Oh, there's lots of different types. And the great thing about getting it in beans like this is if you have a grinder, if you're the type of guy who likes to grind your own beans, right? You just take a bit of that and a dot of that and a whack of that and a pinch of that, stick it in your grinder, mix it all up, you make your own blend. It's like, oh, 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 oh. Fantastic. Oh. Exciting. Yeah. Coffee. Exciting. Coffee is here. Co I, I'm actually getting the caffeine high just through Just from being here. So, what are you thinking of all the meats, Tony? Oh, anything with a face is good. <laughs> we'll we'll definitely, if, we, if, we, if we look off in the, the distance there. Window of beef. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so there we have uh, a window of beef. Literally a window of beef. How fantastic is that? Who measures beef in units of windows? <laughs> or, or, or half cows, indeed. And a ha or half cows. So, uh, what did you get up to last night? Oh, nothing stood in. Ate a window of beef. <laughs> half a cow. What you want to do is you want to get yourself a nice big chunk of beef like that, nice and, nice and lean, right? And then what you do is you cover it in haggis. Ooh. Yeah. And then you cover the haggis in pastry. It's like beef wellington only with haggis instead of mushrooms. And what happens is all the, all the we'll call it juice, but it's really fat. And the haggis goes through the beef as it cooks, keeps it nice Ooh. and moist, and just basts it lovely in the oven as it cooks. But it comes out, it falls apart on your plate, and it tastes amazing. It's, that it's does like, sound rather good. Look at the color of that steak. It's like, that's the, it's the right color. Oh, so so red. <coughs> And there is our window of beef. Our window of beef. I don't know how I would cook it though. I mean, it's bigger than my kitchen. Never mind my oven. <laughs> <laughs> it does seem that way. Look at that. It actually like turns around has been killed. Yeah, it's like they've got a cow and two big knives and just go. Here we have three range eggs. We've got the uh, United Colours of Benetton egg stand because we've got normal coloured eggs. Well, I say normal coloured eggs. So you're sort of. Um, Pinky beige coloured eggs, and then you've got your slightly differently beige coloured eggs with, with speckles and things. So lots, of, lots of speckles and freckles and whatnot. And then over here, you've got your mostly speckled and almost pinky beige sort of coloured eggs. And then you have your albino eggs. Uh, these type of eggs wouldn't survive in nature because of the colour they stand out too much. <laughs> and get eaten by the foxes. And get eaten by the foxes. You can see here, it's uh, 
cheese coloured tofu, curry flavoured coloured tofu, tofu pieces, so uh, it looks like bread, consistency of meat, we have sliced tofu, it looks a bit like bacon, but it's not, it's <laughs> not bacon, only looks that way. Veggie tofu burgers. So that's tofu. Oh, you've also got tofu in a jar. Uh, we've got a uh, light yellow, dark yellow, and yellow with bits. <laughs> so there, if you like tofu, you're settled. So we are approaching our best section. Oh, <laughs> what's all this then? Oh, okay, so this is what I've been talking about earlier. So, what are we looking at here? This. This is the booze section. This is. This is. It's not just any type of. This isn't just any booze. It's not even Marks and Spencer's booze. This is Whole Foods refillable in a bottle booze. It's, it's really elegant. You have the cash. Can you smell the caramel hazelnut and brandy snap? Yeah, you actually can. You might not on the telly, but. You can. It's, it's not just a gimmick. So. so Shall we go and try this out? Absolutely. Three days, and that's how it's ambitious. Oh, that's it, exactly. How's that? It smells pretty. So this is the, this is the, this is the punk IPA. Which one is it? It's 5.4, man. This is rotten. But it smells really fruity, really light. Uh -huh. Oh no, it's really nice that way. What is that? It's punk, it's punk IPA. It's from a brewery that's in front of Kelvin Grove. That's lovely. It's light, it's crisp. Uh, it, it doesn't have a, a chemically overtone, it's, it's just nice and smooth, it's, it's lovely, you can drink that all night. Lovely! It really is. Lovely. Uh, can I try the, uh, the yellow hammer? Oh, I found this a bit too rough. I think I'm going to get a bottle of the, the punk, that, that was lovely. Yeah, I, think, I think I'm going to have to get a bottle of the punk. You find this one a bit too rough? I found this a bit too rough, yeah. It's not exactly honey, but it's, good. Um, <laughs> it's it, does, it smells kind of light, like the uh, pump, but it's not quite as the smell isn't quite as crisp, it's quite sharp. It's a bit sound like jelly. <laughs> Go for it then. How's that? That one is much more mellow. It doesn't have uh, as, as rich a it doesn't have as rich a bouquet, actually, as the punk. <laughs> uh, there's more flavour in the punk. This one, um, it's much softer. Mm. I found much softer. Um, more mellow. It's, uh, yeah. it, it doesn't give you like a, an after bite or anything. We're like probably talking shop here with beer. I, I, I do like a beer. I, I do like a beer. I so let's like go and see this vegetable tonight. It's a chilled beer, so if you wanted to stay at home and uh, relax, this is what you'd have. So what's all this then? What's on this? Well, you've got uh, you've got the uh, the ale section right here uh, down the bottom. You've got kind of world lagers, Britain lager, Corona, and also some different country. And then over here, this is the cider section. Uh, they've got kind of like they have on the ales from different uh, different distilleries or breweries and whatnot. I'm not sure what you call it mm. for a cider, cidillery maybe. My name's Jason. Hello, Jason. So tell us about these cheeses, marvelous cheeses we've got in here. Well, I've got three cheeses on the board here. Um, a, a used milk cheese, mm -hmm. and that's not used, that will be used as in sheep. Um, this, wow. is made, this is made in the West Midlands, it's called Burkeswell. Um, would you like to try some, madam? Um, made by the Fletcher family, they've been making it about 20 years. It's based on a Pyrenean style recipe. Um, it's delicious. There's not, let's, let's face it, it's made between Coventry and Birmingham. Not one of the, not a really sort of well known agricultural destination. Better known for the Industrial Revolution. Mm. So, so this cheese this here is called um, yeah. Conte. We're going to give we're going to give the, the lady a taste of this one. Okay. Okay. And then she'll give. Do you want me to tell us what you think of the cheese? Then she'll be able to make a break for it. Okay. So what? So let's see. Just going to eat it first. Let her eat it. So where's this from? This is called Conte. It's from the Franche Comté, which is eastern part of France near the Swiss border, about an hour's drive north of Geneva. So what do you think? Really like that one. I would never normally pick a new cheese, but that was nice as well. Fantastic. There we go. I spotted it. Yeah. So, what's your opinion of this cheese? Well, I tried this one. It's, it's lovely. It's nice. It's a slight. It's, it's not that overbearing. It's harsh. It's sort of yeah. almost chalky sort of thing you get from cheese. It's, 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 <laughs> this is how cheese should be done. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really nice. the real deal. Yeah. Fantastic. So, what about this final one? 
So this one here on the left-hand side is a cheese called Stitchelton. Mm -hmm. Stitchelton um, is essentially a Stilton recipe. Uh -huh. Most people, most people don't like Stilton because they haven't eaten the real deal. And now this, um, this is uh, as authentic as Stilton can be. Really, this is a this is a recipe that would be as it was made before the, before the Second World War. Milk from one huh? herd, one herd of cows, the farmer's own herd. It's organic <laughs> milk, it's raw milk. The milk is not pasteurized, um, and it's delicious. It's sweet, Proper. It's creamy, it's full. Yeah. And it's not very aggressive. A lot of Stilton cheeses are harsh, yeah. metallic, salty, ammoniated, ugly. This is good. This is sexy. This is Sex, the, sexy cheese. The feminine cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Thanks. Jason? Yeah, yeah. Jason. Yeah, this is a Lanner Blue. Uh, I left in Lanner for a long ass time, and, and everyone was going around, oh, Lanner Blue, you've got to try Lanner Blue, but you can't get it in Lanner. <laughs> <laughs> but you've got it here. They have quite an extensive cheese selection, so uh, you got to try this one out. Blue. Oh, oh, lovely. Fantastic. There's a lot of cheese there. Whoa! Um, so yeah, we, we, we tried to try some salami. Certainly. Thank you very much. This is the salami. Which is called fennel seeds. And this is the Italian pure camera. Which one is this? This is the one down on from the Rusticco. Very much. Rusticco. Ta da! And the first one you tried, which one was that? Mmm. Look down here. Salmon with the chocolate. Yeah. So, meat is definitely. I do love my meats. You shut up, Chanel. Um, yeah, so this is fantastic. So, those are the two we just tried. That nah. really nice because one of those meats that's you know when you get these big sort of proper meats, not just you know 99p value supermarket packets of fresh meat, these shoving sandwiches. This is the proper things you get in big sausages that's full of flavour and spice and things like that. So that's fantastic. Also, look at this whale boar salami. How fantastic is that? Wild boar salami. Parma Absolutely. ham. Parma ham as well. Um, they've truffle salami. I, I didn't know you could get truffle salami. Well, we find it something new every day. Um, so the meat collection here is great, and I'm worried I'm going to come and spend far too much money here on payday. Ah! Oh, no, I'm on 10%. And numerous chickens. So I feel forced to be the one to talk about cakes. Okay. Look at all this. Look at this. I mean, look at the fresh fruits over that part. I mean, look at how good that looks. That is amazing. That is exciting. And this is right beside where I live. This is right beside where I live. This is exciting. And look at like, Nothing ever happens in here. We've only got one pub. And here we are with this thing, I believe. Look at those lollipops. Look at that. And those cakes. Oh, I know where I'm coming to get my cake from. Look at all that. That's fantastic. Amazing. So, um, it's going to be hard on payday not to just come straight down here. And, and uh, but I hope you've all seen one amazing shop. This is last thing. We're we'll going to look at the breads quickly. Um, so yeah. Oh, All my bread are This is a multi grain. How's that bread then? Oh, it's good. This bread here. It's this bread here. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, you can taste the greens in there. Definitely yeah. the multi-grain. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Look at the size of the cakes. Mm. Oh,
finest muffins I've had in a long time. So you're, you're very pleased with that? You think that's probably a oh, yeah. brilliant I, uh, place think, to go? Uh, I think I want to do some shopping again. again. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. See you later, Tony. Thanks for joining us in the chair blog. Anything. See you around. So, that's, that is the open. Here we have. Um, so yeah, we've got a big bottle of beer for that. We will refill that. It's a crack and only. But, um, yeah, Whole Foods is, is exciting. It's, okay, it's ridiculously expensive, but it's also ridiculously nice. And not everything is ridiculously expensive. But there's cool things, the cheese, the beer, the ale. It's all very exciting. So hopefully that's giving you a good view of what's going on here. It's great. It's fantastic. It's interesting. And it's better than just an empty old Morrison's. So... Uh, yeah, thank you for joining us on a very special edition of the Cherry Blog. Um, watch again, and thanks for watching. See you next time. So, thanks for watching, even for all 16 minutes of it. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Now, if you enjoyed hearing about the cheeses from our friend Jason, then you can go to his company website, uh, www.neilsdiary.org. And I promise, I'm not being paid by them. I just like cheese and local produce and stuff like that. Now, Whole Foods, there's the Twitter information for Whole Foods. And the Cherry Blog team me and people that help me from time to time. And thanks for watching.